In this discussion, you can see how to use exist method in Odoo framework and what is the purpose of this method. We will see real task class and in case if you missed previous discussion about how to use read method, please check link is given in description. Let's switch to the browser screen for the record purpose. Uh, here you can see in school profile we have a 16 active records and here in the archived records we have a total six records uh, let's move to the terminal part and we will see how to use exist method okay you can see this is our terminal let me add one variable self.env school.student let me give you one real real test case let's say student in stud underscore obj dot search method we are using right now for the uh, for the record set purpose and here i am just trying to access the name then after like total fees and the school detail like school underscore id dot name so we are getting all 16 records successfully but sometimes what happened is whenever i'm just getting the random ids from the from the different tables and then after certainly i know okay this id is not exist in database but still it's referred in record set but i have to check like if this record set record set is really exist in database side or not this case we need to check using exist method let me give you one more example like ids 1 2 3 4 and 5 then after i'm using like stud list equal to browse so what happened is here you can see i have five record set for the double check let me sorry len so so you can see here the result is five records found from the database but actually we have only one record i guess select id from student sorry school underscore student where id in one two three four and five two record set is available so you can see here four and three record set is uh, like you can see here like four and three ids is available in school profile sorry student profile and here you can see right now i have five records set available in stud underscore list and then after like stud dot id stud dot name then after that's it for right now and if i will double if i will enter so you can see here the record does not exist or has been deleted for this the first profile but if you want to prevent this cache then you have to use either try catch block or or else you have to use exist method let's say let's say try then after stool.id stool.name then after accept exception as Green like this ID is not found, and here we are using something like this, right?
so you can see it successfully generated but the thing is like this id is not found because it's trying to access the field like the name field and uh, this two like this the first id second id and then after like fifth id if you don't want to implement like this this lengthy code like try and accept implementation if you don't want then what you have to do is simply like for stu stu underscore list then after you have to use if stu dot exist then our stu dot id stu dot name otherwise you can just print like this record set is not found in this list something like this so you can see we have like directly it will terminate the process and it will go to the else statement and it will print the statement like this record is not found this record set is not found and if record set found then you can see here it will print like id and uh, that field name like the name field you can also improve your code using like this exist method if you have any doubt please comment below and see you in next session